So in the previous class, we managed to have our matrices, remember? We had our matrices, the application of our matrices of uh, a reflection and also a rotation. If you still remember uh, when we talked about this part of uh, the matrices that uh, can be used uh, considering a rotation, uh, considering a reflection also at the same time. These were the matrices that I've talked about. And also I talked about uh, where and how to use this, like how are we going to use these matrices for your rotation? There's something about the center. Uh, a reflection is just a normal matrix that you're going to take these three, I mean, these four matrices only, then matrix terms object giving you the image. Now you'll be given a typical question. You have drawn your object. This is a typical exam question that you might have. Maybe you've drawn your image, I mean, your object like this. This is your ABC being your object. All right. With the vertices A, this is one, four, B, this is one, two, C, this is two, two. You're given the coordinates there. Then let's say you want to have the image of this triangle, or you want to draw the images of this triangle. Okay. So Let's start with a, 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 a reflection because we said translation. Remember, there are no matrices, it's just a vector there. So just revise your normal part. So let's say the question is draw the images. So we want to draw the images of triangle ABC. Okay, under a reflection. Under a reflection. with the following with the following equation of mirror lines with the following equation of uh, mirror lines so you have the object already this is our object. That's why we are saying the images of ABC, triangle ABC. So you will be given maybe it is the line Y is equal to zero. Maybe it is the line X is equal to zero. Maybe it is the line Y is equal to X. Maybe it is the line of Y is equal to minus X you could have answered these typical questions. Let's say number one, the line Y is equal to zero is our X axis, remember? That's the line Y is equal to zero. So you could have transformed, remember the idea, the distance to the mirror line, same distance to the image. The distance to the mirror line, same distance to the image. The distance to the mirror line, same distance to the image. But now we are opting for another way because they are matrices that can represent these equations of our mirror lines. Remember, we talked about this. From our Try, uh, from our diagram there, our triangle ABC, the original triangle that we are given, if you take uh, a closer look, uh, the point A was 1, 4, uh, the coordinates there. Uh, then B, it was 1, 2. And C was given as 2, 2. These are the coordinates of our object, if you check properly, 1, 4, 1, 2, 2, 2. I talked about that. So this is it. You want to draw the image, but using matrix method. Remember, you're still on matrix method. So this is what you're going to do. 
the line of y is equal to zero, we know this one. This is our first equation. We are given y is equal to zero. This is the line, which is our x-axis, remember. So you ask yourself, do we have the matrix of a reflect, a, take, take note of the transformation, a reflection. We have a matrix for a reflection for the line y is equal to zero, which is for the x-axis. Yes, we do. Remember, we talked about that. The line y is equal to zero, which is our x-axis. Our matrix is going to be given as what? One, uh, zero, zero minus one. All right, so that's our matrix there. One, zero, zero minus one. This is the matrix along the x-axis. So you know the matrix for that transformation. It's a reflection. Then you ask yourself, is there a center under a reflection? No, there's no center. We do not have a center. So if we do not have a center, it means a straightforward, our formula can be used. Matrix times object always must give us the image. What we want is the image. You have the coordinates of the object. These are the coordinates of the object. So you're going to take your matrix for a reflection along the line y is equal to zero about the x-axis, which is uh, one, zero, zero minus one. That's your matrix times the object. What am I trying to say on the object? You are taking the coordinates that you are given, write them in matrix form. So this is the point A. What are the coordinates for point A? One, one, four in matrix form. So this is one, four. Point B, the coordinate B, what is the coordinate B? One, two. We write it in matrix form, one, two. C, that is two, two. So this is our point C, two, two, like this. So if I am to multiply this, I'm supposed to obtain the image, the coordinates of the image. So remember your matrix multiplication row by columns. You're going to use row by column and so on. So I want you to see what is simply happening. You're supposed to multiply like this, this row times this column. Okay. That is one times one, which is one. Remember, you're supposed to add zero times four. That's a zero. Okay, you move on to this. You are still on the same row, but this column on B, so you multiply one times one, which is one, plus zero times two, which is a zero. Okay, you move on to this column of C, one times two, that is a two, plus zero times two, that's a zero. You're done. But um, what is it that we are seeing here? Are we seeing that one is simply multiplying everything here on top? This other part is just multiplied by zero, this one. So you can even avoid that in, a, in an exam condition. Seeing this, you, you simply see, okay, you analyze what is happening there. So you can analyze and say, okay, if I am given something like this, one is going to, is the one that is the first number, it's a one. So one is going to multiply everything. And as I multiply by one, these numbers will remain as they are. So it's going to be one, one, two. Zero is going to multiply these numbers. So everything I'm going to add is zero. There's, there's nothing that is going to affect because I'm multiplying by a zero. In the same manner, if we are to check what is happening on this one, we're going to multiply row by column again. So you start with the column of A. That's zero times one, which is a zero plus. Minus one times four, that's a minus four. We move on to the column of B, zero times one, that's a zero plus, minus one times two, that's minus two. We move to the column of C, that's, we are still on the same row, that is zero, one, minus one. So that's zero times two, which is zero plus, minus one times two, that's minus two. Look what we are having. We are simply multiplying everything on top this time by a zero. Everything on top is going to be multiplied by zero. So it's not going to affect anything. So it simply means minus one is going to multiply everything in the in these numbers below. So it's minus one times four, which is minus four. You can simply multiply because zero is going to multiply this. Minus one times four, that's minus four. Minus one times two, that's minus two. Minus one times two, 
that's minus two. So instead of me writing this way, I add, I'm going, guys, it's fine. You can just minimize that way. Analyze what is happening. When you are working with one, zero, zero, minus one like this, I'm not saying it's wrong to add like this. No, it's not wrong. So after adding, this is what you're going to have. This is a matrix presentation. As we need to draw the image of triangle ABC. So if it was A, B, C, and when you multiply matrix times object, you obtain the image. This is our image. So it means this will be our A1, just like A, B, C. So this will be our B1, our C1. So we can even write these as coordinates. Remember, it was A14, A14. So if it is A1, it means A1 is what? One minus four as a point. So this is one minus four. You move on to B, B1, just like B. It was one, two, when you wrote it, it was one, two as a, as a matrix. So it is the same thing. We have the B1 as a matrix. Let's write it as a point, B1. So this is one minus two. So that's one minus two as a point. And C1 is given, the C1, the last part, two minus two. So that's two minus two, just like that. So these are the coordinates. So it depends now with the question. If the question was calculate the coordinates of the image of A, B, the coordinates of the image, the coordinates of the image, you are going to end at this stage. This is to calculate the coordinates of the image. But this one, we are supposed to draw the image. So to draw, we have to mark now these points. One minus four. So A is A, A1 is one minus four. That's our A1. So you see exactly where these points are going to lie. It is exactly where it was going to be if you used that reflection concept where you move to the mirror line same distance to the, you're going to have the same answer. I want you to prove with that and see. So that's our A1 is going to be one minus four. That's our A1. B1 is one minus two. So that's our B1, which is one minus two. That's our B1. C1, which is two minus two. That's our C1, which is two minus two. So that's our C1. So this is what you are going to have at the end. So if you were to use that method of uh, the graph where you are using it from the graph, you are moving uh, the distance from the image. Remember I talked about that. The distance uh, from the object to the image, one, two, three, four. You count to the image now, one, two, three, four. We are, ex we are, we are at exactly A1. B, one, two, to the mirror line. One, two, we are at B, one, to the mirror line. C, one, two, we are at the mirror line. One, two, we are at the mirror line. So this is an alternative method, the matrix method. So mostly they will give you a matrix, okay? You're given the matrix, then you're asked to draw the image which maps a certain transformation given a matrix. You do not know that matrix. Is it for a rotation? Is it for a reflection? The best way, you just need to multiply. Matrix times object is equal to image. But if you know your matrix, then you can go back to your traditional way of uh, obtaining the image given a mirror line. So that's the idea of the matrix method. Matrix multiplied to the object will give you the image. So what I'm going to, what I want you to do is to try have the image of this same triangle ABC, same triangle ABC, this one, but the equation of the mirror line is now X is equal to zero. Remember the line X is equal to zero is our Y axis. So you're going to use the matrix of the x is equal to zero, which is what? 
the y axis. Remember the matrix we talked about this is there. So you use your matrix, you multiply matrix times object, you get the image just like this part that we did matrix times object. So I want you to do this and you are going to name the coordinates of that image. It is going to be triangle A2, B2, C2. So you draw after finding those coordinates. So to be sure that your coordinates are correct, just list the coordinates on the comment section so that uh, you know that the, the coordinates are, are correct or not. If they are wrong, we can talk about it, but you can use matrix or also you can verify because you are using the matrix method, yet you can also transform. Remember your transformation along the x-axis how it is going to be so it was going to be something like this at the end so you can also verify using that method that we talked about of our movement you're going to have something like this so i want you to verify by any means okay then you do the same thing of the line y is equal to x remember we talked about this the line of y is equal to x it is the line which passes through like this dividing your graph into three parts, But we are not talking about uh, the graphical method. No, we are using the matrix. So you're going to take that y is equal to x. Remember your matrix is there. You multiply matrix row by column. You get your image matrix times object row by column, your matrix multiplication. So you're going to name that triangle A3, B3, C3. So you also list the coordinates of this in, on the comment section, so I'll be able to know. You do the same thing for the line y is equal to minus x, the matrix is there. So this one, you are going to name the triangle A4, B4, C4. So these are the triangles that you are going to name. So since we used A1, B1, this one is gonna be A2, B2, A3, B3, C3, A4, B4, C4. So I want you to try that. Uh, you list the coordinates of each triangle in the comment section so that we can be able to assist each other. Uh, if your coordinates are wrong, you can be able to, I will be able to update you if your coordinates are, are wrong uh, or if they are correct, then you can proceed to another transformation. So that is the whole idea of uh, this transformation uh, concept. But if you check on a rotation, it is going to be the same thing. On a rotation, it is going to be the same thing. Whenever you are given the object and the transformations are taken maybe 90 degrees anti-clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise, uh, 180 degrees, which we said it's just a neutral. This one, it cannot be clockwise or anti-clockwise. As long the center is zero, zero, as long it is centered at zero, zero, you are going to use your same method application. Matrix times object is equal to image, straightforward as it is. So this is what I want you to do because these matrices are there. You have these matrices, as you can see. I want you to take this triangle, which is our object now. This is another question. So you can even try to redraw this like... Uh, on your graph paper like this. Um, it's just like this. I want you to see how it is like something like you divide your graph paper like this. Okay. A at uh, 0, 0.5, B at uh, 0, 0.3 and C at what? At C at uh, 1, 5. These are the coordinates of our object. So the, co uh, the object of um, the triangle that we're given which is our object A, B, C is A, 0, 5, B, uh, 0, 3, and uh, C, which is uh, 1, 5. These are the coordinates. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to draw the images, draw the images, draw the images of triangle. No problem. This one, I want us to do it together. Okay, no problem. Let me do it this way. Draw the image. Let us just save the image. I'm just going to do one question, guys, because of time. I uh, just hope with time, we'll be able to do more questions. 
So here, I want us to do this question together because of TLM. Okay. So let us just try to have this way. Draw the image of triangle ABC. Draw the image of triangle ABC under a rotation. So this is a rotation. Okay. Center one, two. Okay, and angle of rotation and angle of 90 degrees clockwise. So remember I said a 90 degrees clockwise is the same as 270 degrees, but in the anti-clockwise it's like this. So the anti-clockwise will be coming in the other way as 270 degrees anti-clockwise. So the same question could have been given like this. 90 degrees clockwise or 270 degrees anti-clockwise. But the center, the center here, this is my major issue. The center is not zero, zero. As you can see, it's not zero, zero. Okay. So for the center, where the center is zero, zero, if you just want to do a practice, uh, then you give me the answers. Let me just give you something. All right. This one, we're going to do it together now. Let me just give you a practice to do when the center is zero. Remember I said when the center is zero, zero. When the center is zero, zero. You just use this straightforward matrix times object is equal to image. There are no adjustments to be made. There are no adjustments. You just, just like what you did on, on, uh, on a reflection, but you must use the matrix of what? A rotation for that transformation. So I want you to try this. Then you also write the coordinates on the comment section about the images. I want you to have triangle A, B, C with the object. All right, this is triangle A, B, C, all right? With uh, A, okay, sorry for that. It's saving this thing. All right, so with A, one, six. So I want you to try this. Uh, B, one, three. And C, three, six. So this is what you're going to do. You draw this triangle, this one. This is your object, just like what we had in the previous case, all right? This is your object. So after drawing this object, this is what I want you to draw to do now. So this is your question now. So I want you to draw the images. Draw the images now. Draw the images of triangle ABC under a rotation. Under a rotation. Center zero zero. Remember, we are at zero, zero. Center, zero, zero. About, so they will give you the angles now about the following. Um, all right. Let us just say with center, zero, zero. And the following. And the following directions. which is at the angles. So you might be given the first one, A, uh, 90 degrees clockwise. Remember I said for a 90 degrees clockwise, it is, it is the same as uh, 270 degrees anti-clockwise, anti okay? So you draw this one, 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So you use the matrix for 90 degrees, uh, anti uh, clockwise, which is the same as uh, 270 degrees uh, clockwise. So this is the same as 270 degrees clockwise. Then I also want, I also need you to draw the one for 180 degrees. So this is what you're going to do. You, if your graph maybe does not contain uh, this maybe you you had a certain scale. Just try to use two centimeters, 
to represent what two units. But I'm not worried about you drawing that. I'm worried about you having the coordinates. So this is what you're going to do because the center is what? Because the center is zero, zero. You're going to just take the matrix. You multiply to the object, you get your image. Matrix of a rotation, 90 degrees. You use the matrix for rotation. All right, uh, we have those matrices. So I want you to have the first one. You're going to have it as triangle A1, B1, C1. So on the comment section, you're going to talk about, you're going to give me it's a, a rotation question 1A. Also try to can I try to put that 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 uh those timestamps so that I, I I know which part are you talking about? Don't just say which question is it for those who will be asking even a question like how did you answer a uh, log this? Try to put a timestamp so that I can easily even answer you. Okay. Uh just for the future case, just try to do that. I can easily answer you. B. Uh, we, you're going to name this triangle A2, B2, C2. So I want you to, I want you to list the coordinates, okay, on the comment section. Then triangle A3, B3, C3. Also, you list its coordinates. By listing the coordinates, I know that it's correct, okay, because if those coordinates are correct, it means you're going to draw a correct triangle. So I want you to list the coordinates. So there's nothing special on this one, guys. You are just using this concept that you had here with this one. Let us go back to that question. You are just using this concept that we used here. Matrix times object is equal to image, but you are using now rotation, these matrices. So you take the correct matrix here for a rotation. Remember uh, your matrices for rotation that we had here. These are the matrices that you are going to use. Okay. Now let's see this one that I promised that you're going to answer together when the center is not zero, zero, because these ones, they're direct. Uh, there's nothing special here. Uh, just multiply your matrix object. You get your images. After obtaining your images, then draw. But if the center now is not zero, so like what we are seeing here, these stages are the ones also that you are going to use wherever there is a center which is not zero, zero, meaning to say whenever you're talking about a rotation and the center is not zero, zero, and an enlargement also, because remember we said the center affects rotation and what? And enlargement. So I'm explaining this so that also on enlargement, I have, I have explained there. You just need to practice more questions. So this is it. If the center is not zero, zero, these are the steps that you're going to need, uh, that you're going to need. All right. Center not zero, zero. The center is not the origin. So if the center is not the origin, this is what you're going to do. You are going to subtract that center. So the first thing, you subtract the center. Where are you subtracting this center? You subtract this center from the coordinates of object, these ones. You subtract it from the coordinates of the object. From... Uh, the coordinates of the object. So what is the purpose of actually uh, subtracting the center? This is to make sure that the center is neutralized to zero, zero. You are neutralizing your center to zero, zero. After subtracting the center, you apply your matrix concept. So in this case, you apply uh, the matrix concept. The, what is the matrix concept? That is where now you multiply matrix times object is equal to image. But the image that you are going to obtain because you subtracted the center before. So it follows this image that we are having 
it is the image not for that center that you were given, but this is the image for the center zero, zero. Remember we said this matrix times object is equal to image is only used if the center is zero, zero. So it means the image that we are having is not the exact image. It is the image at zero, zero. So how are we going to have the image at the given center? You add back the center that you subtracted. Remember, you subtracted the center before. So this time you are going to add back the center. So these are steps that you're going to obtain to follow. For an example, we have this question, remember, that we are given here. We had or we are given the triangle ABC, then we are asked to draw its image under a rotation, the center being one, zero, one, two. So this is what you're going to do. Like I said, you subtract the center from the coordinates of the object. So you're going to take your object A, B, C. So this is our solution, this one. So you're going to take your coordinates A, B, C as they are, just in matrix form like what we had. So our A is what? That's 0, 5. B, that's 0, 3. Remember how you take this, these coordinates, guys. C, that's 1, 5. You subtract the center from, from guys, from the coordinates from, it's this minus, from the coordinates, from, you start with that. So it's the coordinates minus the center. So the center, you write it also in matrix way. So it's going to be one, two like this. So this is our center. So you subtract the center. So let's subtract our center. So as we are subtracting, guys, you are subtracting the center from each point, from A, from B, from C. Do not take it like it's a matrix. Those matrix way that uh, you are subtracting, because you end up seeing that subtraction is impossible here. You can't subtract this from this. Okay? So you take it as a point. You are subtracting the center from A, the center from B, the center from C you are subtracting the center from each point. You, that, that is the way that you're supposed to, to take it. All right? So let's subtract. From A, that's 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1, that's minus 1. 5 minus 2, which is 3. 0 minus 1, that's minus 1 on B now. 3 minus 2, that's a 1. We are on B. We move on to C. 1 minus 1, that's a 0. 5 minus 2, that's a 3 on C. So this year we have removed the center, meaning to say these are the coordinates of A, B, C when the center is neutralized to 0, 0. By removing the center, you are reversing to 0, 0 so that you can apply the matrix concept because this matrix concept can only be used if the center is zero, so where the center is used. So now we can use the matrix times object is equal to image. But since we are at zero, zero now, it means the image that we are going to have, it is the image when the center is zero, zero. So the question now is what is the matrix for a rotation, remember it's a rotation, this one. A rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. What is the matrix? A rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. We talked about this. These are our matrices. Rotation, 90 degrees clockwise, uh, 0 minus 1, 1, 0. Remember your matrices. So that's 0 minus 1. Uh, one zero like this. This is the matrix now for a rotation 90 degrees clockwise, which is the same as 270 degrees anticlockwise times the object. The object is now the one at zero, zero. When we subtracted the center, that's minus one, three, uh, minus one, one, uh, zero, three. You multiply, guys, I talked about this issue of multiplication. 
uh, row by column concept. But as you can see uh, from your row by column, you see that the zero, this one, is going to multiply everything on top. Yes, you can do your normal multiplication, but you can also see that the zero is going to multiply everything on top. So it means one is the one that is going to multiply these numbers down. All right. So it was row by column, but zero, there's no effect. So it's just going to be one times three, which is three, one times one, which is one, one times three, which is three. You do the same thing to this row and column concept. So you're going to see that minus one was going to multiply every number on top, on top then this zero is going to multiply all these numbers below. So it was just going to, there's no effect of the zero. So it's just minus one times one, which is one, minus one times minus one, which is one, minus one times a zero, that's a zero. Or just guys, multiply properly and row by column, row by column, add whatever that you are going to get something like this. Okay, I'm just shortening it, but you're going to get something like this. So this is it now, this is it. Most cases, you are tempted to use this as your image. In most cases, I is never be tempted because this image that we are having, remember, it is from here, from this object here, which was when you subtracted the center. You are still on the object, but only the object was shifted back to zero, zero. You are still on the object. You are not at the image. The moment you just use the mat, this one, this one, that is where the image is being found. The moment you multiply matrix to its object, you must obtain the image. So if the object was at zero, zero, it means also this image that we are having, these coordinates of the image are the coordinates of the image at the center, zero, zero not at the center that we are given, which is at the center one to us. We need the image when the center is one, two. So we have to add that center that we subtracted before. We remember we removed it. Now we have to add it back. The same center that you subtract this one, one, two. Remember you subtracted this. So you add to your final answer, the one that you are saying, this is now my image. You must add back that center. So this is here, three, one, 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 three, two. We add our center back, which is one, two. By doing this, we are now obtaining the exact image. This is now the exact image when the center is one, two. The exact image now. So that's three plus one, which is a four. One plus a two, which is a three. We move on. This is another point. So this is now our, our image. We are you know, now, we, now we are obtaining the exact image. So we can even write A1 on top. We add one to this one. One plus one, that's a two. One, two, a two. One plus two, that's a three. Thus, our B1. We are done with our B. We move on to the other image. 3 plus a 1, which is a 4. 2 plus a 2, that's a, a 4 again. So this becomes our image of the point C. These are now the coordinates. the coordinates of the of, of the image. All right, there's something that just happened here. There is something that I'm seeing. Uh, where did I get this to this one? This is a three zero, this one, you see? This is a zero, this one, that's a zero here. So that's zero plus two, which is a two here. Let's correct this, this is a two here. So it's four two. So these are the coordinates. When you added the back, the center, these are the steps. Subtract the center. Use the matrix, matrix times object is equal to image, but it's the image of the center zero, zero. You add back the sand. Subtract the center, apply the matrix concept, you add back the center, just like that. So now you can represent, both these are coordinates, remember, so you're just writing A1, just like what we had before. A1 is uh, four, three, 
uh, B1 is 2, 3. Uh, C1 is 4, 2. You now have these as coordinates. So if the question was to calculate the coordinates, you're just going to end at this point. But if it's for you to draw, then you have to mark these points, draw your image. So A1, 4, 3. Okay, let's just see where are we having A1, 4, 3, somewhere here. A1, 4, 3, 4 versus 3. That's our A1. So we're just going to name it A1, 4 versus 3. Here, yeah? A1, 4 versus 3. All right, if you check properly there, our B1 was 2, 3. All right, that's 2, 3, if you still remember here. 2 versus 3. So that's 2, 3 on top here. X is 2, Y is 3. So it's going to be somewhere there. 2 versus 3, somewhere. You mark your point. All right, so this is now A1, uh, B1. Then uh, C1, if you check properly, it was 4, 2. 4 versus 2. That's our C1. With this, I'm going to join points. I'm having the image now, just like that. So it's the image of this under a rotation given that the center is one, two. You, so it's, as you can see, matrix method can tend to be a smart method because you do not have all those uh, constructions here. The calculations, you can do them separately on your answering script. Then you are just drawing. Then you are just drawing. So as you can see, matrix method can be a nice method can be, uh, what can I say? Can be the best method to use. The matrix method can be the best method to use. So I would like you to work more questions. I gave you a lot of questions to do. Drawing of these images, but here there's no adjust. Here there's nothing like subtracting the center on this because the center is already at zero zero. So there is just a straightforward matrix terms object is equal to image. So after this, I'm expecting full questions now. Like, guys, revise other topics, revise other like enlargement, those and that. M most of this, we are going to do question papers. You understand more from there because uh, you end up now losing track because I think I have explained like, uh, this information is actually for teachers. If you want to teach someone transformation, uh, transformation, you can take this information, teach someone transformation. So yeah, for those who want to learn transformation to the, to the, to the other extent, yeah, we shall have more videos, but for those now preparing for our exams, now we are going to have, in fact, we did question paper. So just check paper twos, uh, where there's transformation now you can understand more because you have done the introductions so but unless there's a question that you're saying this one there's a challenge i tried it okay let me know so that we can come back again on the same platform with that question till we meet again